Right now at 530 and only on 10, Sheriff Gregory Tony says South Florida students need to realize the serious consequences of making threats against their school or any school. The sheriff says CSO's new crime center has helped prevent several possible school shootings. But just over a month into this brand new school year and several students have already been arrested and charged with making threats. Local 10's Danella Sabovic has our one and only exclusive. Six weeks into the new school year and we have already reported on countless threats prompting code red lockdowns. This was crazy. I was really scared. On the first day of classes at Coconut Creek High, a 15 year old student allegedly brought a gun to school. That student was arrested. A week after that in late August at Charles Flanagan High School in Pembroke Pines and at American Senior High School in Hialeah, threatening calls were placed but were unfounded. At South Plantation High School, two threats two weeks apart. A bomb threat was called in earlier this month. Last Tuesday, the school was placed on lockdown due to a written threat against a teacher and some students. That student was also arrested and is now facing a felony charge. Most people come to school just to play. They don't take these threats seriously. Each quarter, there's mental health mandates, but we need to talk more about the actual bomb threat consequences. Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony agrees and takes us inside BSO's real-time crime center, designed in part to mitigate the threat of school violence. If a school threat takes place and comes out right now, you'll start seeing everyone kind of integrate and working together. From cameras to social media, investigators here at BSO's real-time crime center are always on the watch. Launched after the Parkland school tragedy, the crime center has more than 20,000 cameras and countless investigators. Most of these threats that they're introducing into the community one will impact in some form of felony charge, which is going to be on their record for the rest of their life. The second thing that is being missed and not discussed is the amount of resources it takes for our organization to respond to any threat that comes up. The sheriff says all threats are taken seriously and every resource is launched from SWAT teams to aviation and a multitude of investigators on the ground, burning up hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is why parents and kids need to understand that these threats are serious. They're serious indeed and again can lead to jail time. The sheriff tells us since the crime center launched back in 2019, the men and women there have conducted more than 3,500 investigations that have led to at least 500 arrests. That's the latest here out of Plantation. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News. Sonella, thank you. A